so now we have discussed the reasons or the why like why water get polluted now we we are going to discuss what are the effects when we study reasons why water get polluted it's very clear at that time only some points comes in our mind like these are the things which is happening okay and these are the measures which can be taken so now whatever i am going to discuss it should be there in your mind already okay so it will become easy for you to remember all the points see for reason when we discuss reason we discuss first of all about the industrialization so what are the like how what can we do to reduce water pollution first of all the water which is released from industries should not be allowed to get mixed up with the water bodies without being treated okay directly okay that means what the water or industry waste industries or industry waste should be what what has to be done industry waste should be treated before mixing before mixing it with water bodies yes if see children government has made all kind of laws okay uh, when we talk about industry it is in already in law that even the uh, air which is or the fume or the smoke which comes out from the industry need to be treated okay it need to be treated it cannot be released directly into the atmosphere at the same time the water which is being released okay through the industries which comes out to the industries again it is a law that this people cannot release waste uh, water directly it cannot come out without being treated but the thing is that children laws are being made but how many people follow the ro rules and regulations okay so already laws are there but it need to be followed properly okay so what is there you know it's all about our love for our country for the nature it's like you know it's all about how responsible we all are how uh, much responsibility do we take to keep our nature or to keep environment or to keep our country clean okay so first of all industry water or industry waste should be treated before mixing it with the water bodies or waste water i should say or industry waste water okay now second point now uh we talk we all are you know we all have one or the other god like we uh, worship particular god okay but when we talk about certain festivals like ganesh utsav or maybe navratri so the idols of god and goddesses are also immersed in water okay it is a ritual i know i understand nothing wrong in that even i am very religious but the thing is that instead of using plaster of paris for making the idols some you know biodegradable material can be used okay and you know why it is so see when the plaster of paris is used for making such kind of uh, idols and when it is immersed in water so what happened these things these uh, material okay plaster of paris and all these chemicals 
again it increases the water pollution okay so the idols okay idols should be made by bio degradable substances or materials you know even i know many people who really love nature who love their country and you know what these people do they make the uh, idol of ganesha with the help of some special clay which get mixed up with the water easily it becomes a part of the water easily with the scent something okay so and they don't even go and immerse the uh, this idol in the river water what they do they take one big drum according to the size of the idol they with all the rituals with all their feelings they immerse the idol into that okay and then then this water is given to the plants so if, even though it is made up of biodegradable material it is not going to harm nature but still they don't go and immerse the idols into the water bodies so this is your responsibility shows your love for the nature and for the environment and to your country was your country okay so this was our second point that idols should be god or goddesses idol should be made up of biodegradable material okay okay coming to the third point what all we can do is again now sewage okay sewage water should be treated okay before it get mixed up with the water bodies okay so sewage water should be treated we have discussed about sewage water that when this kind of dirty polluted water when it get mixed up with the water river water maybe water bodies then what happen it give rise to many diseases okay so it can be prevented how if the sewage water is not directly allowed to get mixed up with the water water bodies then we can reduce pollution to a greater extent okay now what can be the fourth point okay what can be done obviously plantation plantation means what okay plantation means number of like the plants we have to grow the plants everybody knows that okay but you know it's not only about to bring one uh, sapling and to put it into the soil no that doesn't means plantation plantation means you have to take care of that sapling till the time it turned into a uh, into an independent plant okay so not only to plant the plant like trees even to take care till they become independent means they become very, like they become they are very uh, they have a strong grip in the soil till that time it has to be taken care of okay now you know what happens one more thing we due to the sewage water you know sewage water i told you it may contain excreta of uh, humans it may contain excreta of animals it is having all sort of dirty things into it but always remember all these things also contain manure okay all this thing also contain means it is having uh, certain material in that which can be used to make manure okay so rather than mixing sewage water with the water bodies here it should be used 
for what it should be used in biogas plant okay it can also be used to make manure okay and you know one more thing which is very dangerous when sewage water or when the water which is having certain uh, material which uh, increases the growth of the plant so what it give rise to you know it give rise to eutrophication i will rub this plantation we will discuss plantation brother i will write it afterwards i will continue this eutrophication okay and what is the meaning of eutrophication it means you know what happens when on the surface okay when on the surface of the water okay the amount of like lot many alga grows okay the the water surface get covered with the algae see what is happening when sewage water is or any kind of water which has got certain material in it or manure in it or the material or the chemicals or the substances which increases the rate of the growth of the plant okay when such kind of water is released into water bodies then what will happen now it will get mixed up with the water and it is going to increase the growth of the algae okay now what happens in this total surface of the water get covered with the algae now again algae is using what oxygen okay algae is using oxygen first thing and you know it is using oxygen it is on the surface of the water so it doesn't makes any difference but what is happening now oxygen is again like blocked it cannot come inside why because the whole surface is totally covered with the algae okay and very important when these algae die okay when these algae die what happens bacteria they start their work okay bacteria they start their work which kind of work do the bacteria does they decompose okay they have to decompose dead alga okay they have to decompose dead alga so in decomposing this dead alga bacteria uses lot amount of oxygen now the amount of oxygen which was dissolved in water like it is getting reduced okay day by day and so the again it is very dangerous for the animals which are there or the aquatic animals okay i'll explain eutrophication again children see now what happens when the sewage water or any kind of water which is there in the uh, which which contains the you know particle or the substances which is very good for the growth of the plants now when such kind of water get released into the water bodies now what will happen when such kind of water get released into the water bodies it will increase the growth of the alga okay growth of the alga will increase i made the sign of the increase okay the growth of alga will increase now when the growth of alga increases the water level the water surface okay is totally covered by it gets covered by algae so now what is happening algae blocks the passage of the oxygen now oxygen cannot come readily and get dissolved in water okay now second thing when this alga die okay when this alga dies now what happens when whatever dead material is there it is bacteria's work to decompose it okay so bacteria start decomposing algae it again what happens in this procedure lot of oxygen is used by the bacteria to convert algae into a part of nature and so the amount of oxygen 
which is there in the water is now very short is or very less for the animals which are available there in the water. So, this is all about cuterification ok. So, what does it mean? It means the tremendous growth it means what tremendous growth I will write here it means what growth of growth of algae ok which blocks oxygen which blocks oxygen ok and again when second point when alga die bacteria what happens when alga die when algae die bacteria uses lot of oxygen dissolved oxygen ok and so the amount of oxygen which is left for the aquatic animal becomes very less and it affects the growth of the aquatic animal it because of this many aquatic animal even they die. Okay. So, this is the reason why sewage water should not be allowed to mix up with the water, water bodies ok. Now, next one is I have written one point over there plantation I will write it again here plantation we have discussed about this ok. Okay. Now, plantation means we have discussed this point, but again one more point I would like to add over here that plantation should be done on river banks also ok. Plantation or on river banks ok. Why plantation should be done on river banks? Obviously, because it holds the soil very properly ok and it also allows the water to get absorbed into the uh, soil ok. So, it the, it increases the underground uh, level of the underground water also ok. Now, now what can be the next point? See when I said uh, we all know like India is a religious like Indians are very religious ok, but we no, many people have like many people are very superstitious also ok. So, what actually happens you know dead bodies, dead bodies are released ok or is being thrown into the river ok. Now, just imagine due to dead body just so many bacteria will be there to decompose the dead bodies and these bacteria or these microbes they really they pollute the water they harm they are very harmful and they just we can say that the level of pollution again get increased. In the same way the along with the dead bodies I would like to mention the flowers which are being used ok the flowers which are being used for the god and then when it is removed it is all thrown into the water bodies which should be really prohibited should be avoided ok. So, dead bodies should not be should not be allowed to to what throw or to release in the water bodies in the water bodies ok. Ok, now 
next point which I would like to discuss is use of organic fertilizers ok. Now organic fertilizers organic fertilizers should be used should be used ok. Children we have discussed enough about the chemical fertilizers and their uses how it pollutes the water and so it is better not to use chemical fertilizer or if it is used at least we can decrease the amount ok. The amount of uh, chemical fertilizers can always be decreased ok. So, in place of that if organic fertilizers can be used it can really uh, like it can prevent water from being getting polluted ok. Now next one what is there is awareness. You know like what I feel is people are not aware of the consequences of the water pollution or air pollution. I would like to talk about both over here like you know uh, like as one more service also celebrated like in the month of July lots of plants are being uh, they are grown and then even taken care of. So, what 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 is the reason behind this like plants will be planted along with that like many people will come to know like what is being done why it is done. So, the one uh, the educated people or the person who are like if I feel anybody if you feel that you can educate any other person or you can bring this thing into knowledge of other person that how we can reduce air pollution that how can we reduce water pollution and we follow certain measures I think it will be a great help ok. Like you know let the people know like what can be the dreadful consequences let people know like a time may come when we would not be having any, a single drop of water pure water ok. As one saying goes um, water water everywhere but not a drop of water to drink ok not a water not a drop of water to drink means water water is there everywhere but we do not have water which we can consume because the water is totally polluted ok. So, it is very very important to spread awareness and how the awareness uh, can be created maybe due to like you know certain lectures can be uh, arranged ok, release can be uh, arranged and the street shows just go uh, we call Nukkar Natak just go hum bolte hai Nukkar Natak can be arranged some poster competitions can be arranged. So, these little things ok, some uh, articles can be uh, 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 can be can be given in the newspaper media can help in this to a great extent they can make people aware of this ok. And there are like in this ways even the debate competitions can be arranged in the schools. So, all these are what actually all these are ways to spread awareness among the people ok. So, what are the ways which we discussed maybe the poster competition maybe like some lectures maybe media ok and whatever we have discussed just now can be the part of the awareness campaign. Now, what can be the next point? it can be the detergents the use of again I would like to use the word chemical 
you know in the market even the phenyl uh, biodegradable phenyl is available okay so many detergents which we use like especially the chemical detergents are really very very harmful what happen when detergents are used in greater quantity it give rise to leather leather means what foam okay so when this foam is created again it kills lot of microbes which are very very important for the nat natural cleaning of the water now when these kind of detergents they kill the microbes so what happens the natural cleaning has stopped and we are increasing pollution so what ha what happens this hampers the quality of water in two ways what is first like the microbes the useful microbes which are, which cleans the water uh, by themselves okay automatically it's a natural process it gets stopped and we are not less we are not doing any we are not taking any efforts in reducing the pollution rather we are increasing the pollution okay so it has to be what which kind of detergents has to be used it can be the organic detergents again the detergents which are responsible for create like which is which creates lot of leather and foam should be avoided okay now what can be the next one the next one is biogas plant okay the next one is what i will write ninth one here it can be biogas plant now biogas plant or cow dung uh, where uh, like you know it is a plant where by just using cow dung maybe certain vegetable waste maybe the leftover of your uh, house maybe the food which is left okay now you are using you want to make you want to eat cauliflower vegetable definitely we are going to use the upper part okay and the lower part will be thrown that instead of throwing that lower part it can be used for the biogas plant so biogas plant can help us in two ways okay first of all all the waste all the biodegradable waste is used over here so now there is no need to release these waste into the rivers no need to dump this waste into the soil okay so these kind of waste which kind of waste biodegradable waste i told you the meaning of biodegradable waste means those substances which gets broken up okay by the microbes it becomes the part of the nature it will get degrade it will get decay okay say for example banana peel maybe the leftover of the cabbages okay and what are the non biodegradable maybe plastic okay maybe rubber maybe thermocol all these are what these are non biodegradable substances so what i'm talking about biogas plant is helpful to us in two ways first of all the amount of uh, uh, the garbage which is being created can be reduced first of all how it can be reduced it will be created it but it can be used into the biogas plant i hope you all know what is biogas plant children it is just a it is just a tank like structure which is being made inside the earth okay it is then a layer of it has been covered by the layer of cow dung okay and then little amount of soil is also put into this then few like whatever like manure then whatever leftover is there is being added into this certain microbes are also allowed like it, microbes are generated over here certain worms are also released over in this and when these things get like when in process of decomposition of all this thing methane gas is produced what is produced methane gas is produced now this methane gas is known as biogas and it can be circulated house to house with the help of the 
pipes also it is uh, why it is good first of all here now we don't have to throw the garbage on the roads or uh, in the water or we have we don't have to dump into the soil one this is a use that our garbage is now sorted okay second we also get manure how manure is formed like you know the gas one outlet is there from here whatever gas is being formed here okay due to rotting of these substances what is happening when the substances are getting rotten the methane gas is released which comes out from this pipe now time to time this cover is opened and whatever left over is here whatever material is left over here is removed out okay and now this one is excellent manure this one is excellent manure and it is used in the fields so our garbage is sorted we are getting we are getting gas also plus we are getting manure also not only this children this gas is cheaper okay as compared to lpg this gas is cheaper not only this one more point is there that this is like it doesn't creates pollution it is it it is pollution free like it doesn't it is not at all responsible for it keeps the nature clean so so many advantages do we have from the use of biogas plant so let the one should start for planning biogas plant okay now what can be the next point 